tapusin na natin ito sa panahon ko. I have two more years. I will try to finish all of you. Pati kayong mga legal, magtago na kayo. Huwag ninyong sabihin, putang ina, no, wala kayong... You know, you're bullshit, you're the legal friends. Sa inyo, kumukuha kayo ng pera. Ang mga negosyo dito na malalaki sa Pilipinas, nagdideposito ng pera yan sa bangko, sa account ninyo. Kinukuha ninyo yan. Yan ang totoo dyan. Kaya nabubuhay yung NPA. Pati pa yung extortion ninyo doon sa labas. Marami kayong pera. Uh, alam mo, ang gobyerno ayaw niyan. Uh, government is very jealous. There is only one entity who can collect taxes. It's government. And that money must be put to good use. O hindi naman kami, kung hindi ka makabayad, wala naman kami yung pinapatay. Uh, kung wala talaga yung ikabayad, anong gawin natin? Wala naman kayong nabalitaan na kulong. So, we do not do that. But do not force my hand into it. Kaya kung hindi, pag Marcelo, lahat kayong mga legal friends, magtago na kayo. Magtago na kayo. Huwag ninyo akong bulahin. Galing ako dyan. Alam mo yung karapatan noon, ang unang, uh, ang predecessor na tinatawag nila, was the Committee of Justice, Freedom, and Democracy. In Davao City, I was a fiscal, but I was handling the karapatan noon sa Davao. For the reason na, uh, uh, hindi ko nagustuhan yung klaseng pamaarap pamaraan sa gobyerno. Ah... Uh, Um, it was a dictatorship, and uh, uh, it was not really. Hindi naman tayo sinira ang demokrasya. Kaya kung sabihin ninyo na sisirain ko ang demokrasya, hindi. Lili, lulutasin ko ang demokrasya sa inyo. You made it impossible for me to move. At gusto ninyo ipasok muna yung mga dima. Ayaw naman ng military. Binigay ko sa military yung papel ninyo. Sabi ng military, ayaw nila. Sabi ko, ano, you, you explain to me bakit. So I gave them about two hours explaining to me bakit. Bakit hindi pwede yan? Eh, ganito yan, sir. Sabi ko, sige, naniwala ako sa inyo. And uh, I, I, I'm, I'm calling the armed forces to uh, invent something more to innovate uh, so that my, the soldiers will not be at the mercy of them. Pag dalawa lang yung sundalo, kawawa naman. Ang magdating yan doon, they will just soup down is, isang sampo, wala talagang lawan. Kaya sabi ko, at this time, the armed forces should go into innovation. Sabi ko, huwag ka mag-surrender, ha? Kaya mga NPA, do not ever, ever raise your hands. Kasi ang order ko, kung lumaban ka, lumaban ka na. Wala ko kang mag-surrender. Now, let me be very clear on this. If itong lawlessness, which has imposed on us by the NPAs for the longest time, 53 years, Baski sa ang probinsya may NPA, kanina o kahapon, dalawang army nag-escort nag para i-deliver ang supply sa mga tao, pati pera, pinatay ninyo. If that is not lawlessness, what is that? Tell me. Kaya ngayon, pag nagpatuloy kayo ng lawlessness ninyo, patay dito, patay doon, and it's happening all over the Philippines, maybe I will declare martial law because kayong mga NPA ang numero uno. Kinukuha ninyo yung mga tulong sa tao, 
pati yung supply ng pagkain nila. Kaya, I am now warning everybody and putting notice sa armed forces pati police. I might declare martial law. And there will be no turning back. Kung ano ang martial law na klase yung gagawin ko, akin lang yan. Pero kung gusto ninyo, kasi pinagpapatay ninyo yung mga sundalo ko, pati polis, na wala namang ginawa, kung hindi samahan lang yung nagdi-deliver ng pera, pati pagkain. Ah, ang utos ko sa kanila, patayin, patayin kayo? O di patayin ninyo sila. Lahat na. Na ngayon, nagsalita ako ng komunista. At ito mga putang ina mga komunista dito. Kasi ang sa COVID na mangyari, maraming gutom. Maraming hindi nakakain. Maraming hindi nakakatanim. So walang pera. That is why papasok ang gobyerno. Tulungan sila. Kaya naman, pinagbabaril itong mga putang inang NPA na ito. Kaya napunta tayo doon. But that is COVID connected. Because nagkasakit o oh, hindi makapaghanap buhay because of COVID. You have to connect. Hindi na sabihin mo, rumble on. Itong mahilig, itong mga gagong sa try to, ano, to rumble on to some other matters and mumble. Alam mo, ganito, itong mga putang inang di ba matay itong mga putang inang to. Rinig niyo yan. Oh, ay, just mumbling. Uh, basta. Ito, ito. I am just putting notice to everybody. That itong komunista, itong komunista, malaki ang gastos natin. Do you know how much we spend sa isang potok lang? Marinig mo man yan. Brrrr. Isang potok yan, 35 pesos. Tang ina ninyo. Yung 35, ilang brrrt, brrrt, ilang sundalong brrrt, brrrt yan. Abusaya, pati kayo mga komunista. Ilang 35 pesos yan. Yung bala ninyo, yun yung bala ng mga sundalo na pinatay ninyo. Kaya ginagamit ninyo, pera ng tao, pagpatay ng sundalo. Kuha ninyo. Yung mga mortar-mortar ninyo, those are the armaments and uh, equipments na nakalkal ninyo sa mga patay na sundalo. Yan, yan pinaputok ninyo, pati pinaputok ng sundalo, pera ng tao yan. But you are not the government. Uh, sige. Yan ang history ng COVID. You will always be a part Uh, someday, if we will write a narrative of the COVID, nandyan talaga kayo sa isang chapter sa putang ina para sa inyo. We see how you punish the Filipino people for your ideology. Kayo mga NPA na ano, kikinig, sumurinder kayo. Kaya ng ginawa ko sa Mindanao. May binibigyan ko kayo ng bahay, bibigyan ko ng hanap buhay. Huwag kayong, huwag ninyo agawin yung assistant dyan. Kaawa naman yung tao. Pagkain nila yung kunin ninyo, wala na. Para na rin pinatay mo yung mga pamilya dyan sa mga lugar na hindi maabot ng sundalo. Ang nakakarating dyan yung mga ano lang, walang armas yung mga DSWD. Pero yung mga escort, pinapatay niyo. That's why I'm asking the armed forces now and the police to reconfigure, kasi marami na akong patay, to reconfigure uh, how to go about escorting the uh, health workers. So, magprangkahan na lang tayo dito ngayon. Alam ko, And that is why I told uh, General Visaya, go ahead, form your board of generals, 
and you take care of your organization. I only choose the chief of staff. Then let the board of generals decide the careers of the men in uniform. They do not go to me, and I will not entertain you for promotion or transfer. Just like Bato and the rest of you guys there, Morente, Koy, and everyone. I never interfere in the choices of commanders. Sinasabi ko lang, you do your own thing. You assemble a team to help you succeed. I will not interfere in the assignments. But you have to answer to me for anything that happens. Ganon tayo dito. I am ready for the army. But for the police, I am very sorry. I do not want to return to that board of generals until there is a reformation in the organization. But be sure that when everything after six years, we are back to what you are supposed to be. A law enforcement, law abiding, God fearing, and only doing what is good for the country. Then you can have everything back, including the board of generals. In the meantime, no such thing. And uh, I told uh, Bato, no, wag tayong mapahiya sa Pilipino. And may I, as a parting words, I will protect you. In all of your uh, undertakings, adventures, as a law enforcement uh, guy, I will be there to protect you. I will provide you the funds. I will provide the weapons needed to fight criminality, particularly drugs. We not, we might not be able to stop it on time of the six months, but certainly after six months and one day, matapos na sana lahat. <laughs> Total, tama yung bayad ko sa inyo. And the election, it was not a campaign slogan that I want your salaries and also the armed forces of the Philippines. If I win, I said, by the grace of God, and indeed, grace was there, na dudublihin ko yung sweldo niya. Double your salary. <laughs> Let me tell you now. I will not run this country with a corrupt police. Mag-aaway tayo dyan. And I do not want to demean you or to take anything from you. But luckily for me, there was this executive order before of President Arroyo raising to the level of a threat of a national security the drug problem. So the armed forces must pitch in. You have to help. You have to get rid because saan ka nakakita dito, nowhere in this world except in South America, and I'm giving you the box by Ion Cartrell, he has had this history of uh, despair, South America. And I would uh, say that, make a projection, that if I do not interdict now the drug problem, seven years from now, or two politics from now, or even one, it would become a narco politics, like in South America and Mexico. Where do you find a country, a mayor is inaugurated in the morning and in the afternoon he is, ex she is executed? That will not happen. That will not happen during my watch. <laughs>